This is a NAES Interlibrary Loan System video on finding your interlibrary loan statistics. It will cover basic information on how to find your lending and borrowing statistics week by week or month by month, and how to download the numbers that you will need for the IMLS Public Library Survey. For the purposes of this training video, we are going to work as the Birch Public Library. I am currently logged into the NAES Interlibrary Loan System using the Birch Public Library's Interlibrary Loan account. Now, please keep in mind that many of the numbers will look a little weird because this is a training library and we don't always fill everything that we request and all sorts of strange things go on because we use this library for testing. But how you find the statistics remains the same whether the statistics look funny or not. I'm going to start with your basic statistical information that you can use to just find out how much activity your library is involved with in the system, and then we'll cover exactly what you need to do to get the numbers you need for the IMLS Public Library Survey each year. Now to get to the statistics, you go to the Staff Dashboard, and then you click on the little arrows next to the word statistics to expand that menu. As you can see, there are a variety of interlibrary loan statistics, and then there are a variety of database statistics. We're just going to cover a couple of the most useful uh, reports here. Any of the statistical reports um, are just pulling information. None of them change anything, none of them edit anything or cause anything to actually happen. So if you're curious about any of this data and want to explore, feel free to do so because it's just going to pull information. As I said, nothing will be changed or edited by anything you click in the statistics menu. But the basics of what you would need to do to find out what your library is doing as a lender and what you are doing as a borrower is what we're going to cover today. So from the statistics menu, let's first take a look at lender statistics and see what it is that um, you can find out from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the word Lender Statistics, and it will open up the window that shows me my Lender Statistics as the Birch Public Library. Now within this screen, I can make a few different choices. I can see my statistics weekly, which is the default, or I can see them for monthly. Now, because we have just started in this system, there is not a huge lot of information available yet. So if I choose October 1st, which is before the system actually started, and then choose monthly, and my library code is hardwired in there, I can't see someone else's statistics. That's just what's going to be there. And then I click Submit. It will update the screen to show me all of the statistics for Birch Public Library as a lender. So we received five requests from people wanting us to lend them things. We filled three of them. We supplied two items and one copy. A copy request would be a photocopy of an article. A book request would be some sort of an item. It might be a video. It might be an audio. Um, the system counts it as a book because it's a thing, that an actual object that went out and came back, presumably. Um, I have one in this range of time that was not responded to. Again, related to it being a training library. The average days to supply was zero, meaning they were done pretty much the same day. Um, so this is how you can see what your statistics are. If you wanted to check weekly, you would be able to check weekly. I would change the option to weekly and click Submit again. And there are no library statistics available for that period. So I go back and see, well, oh, it was there was nothing available for that first week. So you can use the previous period button to move backward or the next period button to move forward through a set of weekly information. So that is how you see your lender statistics. Now to look at your borrower statistics, you go back to the staff dashboard. The statistics menu is still expanded because I had it open before, but if it weren't, I would just click on the little arrows to make it expand. And I'm going to, just like I said, lender statistics. This time I'm going to say borrower statistics. And here I see what the Birch Public Library has done as a borrower in the week between 1020 and 1026. So this looks very much like what we saw before, except I have borrowed no copies apparently as this library.
Now I have a couple of options here. I can download this report and it's going to open up a window and what um, determines what this window exactly looks like and what exactly it asks you is your browser. I'm using a Firefox browser at the moment and the default of mine is to open it or to save it, um, but the defaults in your browser will determine what you get here. So I can open this with Microsoft Excel, I could save the file to a particular directory, things like that. So um, you can in fact save these reports if you wish to do so. You can also print them. It, use format to print and again this will be controlled by your particular browser's print options. So for a Firefox browser I would go to the little menu and choose to print it from here which is built in here somewhere. Print, there we go. Um, but what you will get exactly is going to vary depending on your browser. But these reports can be downloaded and they can be printed and just as we saw with the lender statistics, borrower statistics may be maneuvered through if you have any um, with the previous period and next period buttons. If I click reset it's going to just turn the the dates back. I hadn't really changed them so it doesn't look like it did anything but it would reset it to the defaults which is the current week at a weekly view. I also have a monthly view. I have to submit in order to get my display to change um, and it will in fact adjust the dates of the month for me. When I change to monthly it puts in the, the first and last day of whatever month I'm currently in. Um, if we had been in the system more than a month I would be able to put other dates so I could see what was in February, what was in March, and so forth, um, and any date range that you want. It always starts your month on the first of the month you're looking at though, so you can't for example get statistics from the 15th to the 15th using this particular screen. So that is how you get your basic lending and borrowing statistics. So next let's take a look at how you're going to find your complete statistics for a year for the IMLS Public Library Survey. As we did before, we're going to return to the staff dashboard to the statistics menu and on the statistics menu this time we're going to use activity and request reports. This is going to give us a variety of options. I'm only going to cover the ones that you need to get the numbers for the Public Library Survey. As I said before though, feel free to explore and experiment and see what data you get from what report um, that is helpful to your library. So the first thing that I want to do here is for the Public Library Statistics I need to put in the dates that I want to cover. Now because we've only been in the system very briefly there's going to be a lot of periods where there is no data. But let's say that the Birch Public Library operates on a, the same fiscal year as the State Library. So the start of my fiscal year is July um, 1st of 2018 and then the end of my fiscal year actually we'll say from last July so it includes so the end of my fiscal the beginning of my fiscal year is July 1st my fiscal year ends on 630 and in this case it'll be 2020 now note that up above here it's giving you a format month month day day and then a four digit year. You have to meet that format or else it will give you an error message if you just say 19 or 20 it's going to come back and go I don't know what you want. So you do have to follow the model that's given you there. You can also use the little calendar drop down to pick a date if you want to do so. Um, but I find typing them in is just as easy. So I use my fiscal year uh, for the Public Library Statistics. I'm going to choose a format. It can be an HTML, which will just show it to me, uh, which is probably fine if you're just going to make note of your totals to fill into your report. There's really no reason to download the thing. But if you wanted to save it, you can do it as either a PDF or an Excel file. I'm just going to say HTML, and I want to say, um, that I want borrowing activity and I want lending activity. I do not want to see every site even if it's zero. So I'm not interested in having it list all the libraries in the system even if I have never loaned or borrowed with them. So um, I'm going to say no to that so I'll just get ones I've done things with. And then to generate the report I click submit.
and it brings up my report. And if you have a lot of activity, like if the system had been up and running for more than two weeks, um, it might take a few minutes to pull this information up. So I consulted with Tim, who is our guru of the public library uh, survey, and he said that the number that you will want to use is that you will want your borrowing number filled. So for the Birch Public Library, my grand total for my fiscal year is that I, as a borrower, I had two requests filled. So that's that part. And then my lending activity, I had four. So I have a grand total of four requests filled as a lender and two as a borrower. And to switch from one to the other, I used these um, links up here at the top. I can also see, and I don't need this for the public library report, but just for my own edification, I can see who it is that I have been trading with. Um, because this is a training library, mostly we trade with other training libraries, but we've had a couple of transactions that included some other library probably testing something or other. So that is how you can find out about your interlibrary loan activity for statistical and reporting purposes. If you have questions about finding statistics on your interlibrary loan activity, please call the NAES Help Desk at 603-271-2141 or send us an email at the address on your screen. Thank you for watching.